Demand for a strategic pivot in Philippine-China relations urges President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Manila, the Philippines. In an exclusive interview with Mainichi Shimbun on December 16, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. of the Philippines emphasized the necessity for a substantial shift in the nation's approach to its diplomatic ties with China. He expressed concerns about the current trajectory of diplomatic efforts with Beijing, citing the need for a paradigm shift in navigating the complexities of the South China Sea issue. During discussions at the recent summit with the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, in Tokyo, President Marcos underscored the challenges posed by China's apparent disregard for traditional diplomatic channels, as highlighted in an official release from the presidential palace. We've relied on conventional diplomatic methods for many years now with minimal progress, remarked President Marcos. He indicated the urgency for exploring alternative strategies, given the limited success of traditional approaches. Regarding the West Philippine Sea, President Marcos asserted that Manila remains committed to engaging in discussions with its partners. The goal is to formulate a unified position that outlines shared responsibilities among involved parties within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone in the South China Sea. The term West Philippines Sea is employed by the Philippines to refer to the part of the South China Sea falling under its exclusive economic jurisdiction. As tensions escalate over territorial claims in the crucial waterway, recent exchanges between Manila and Beijing have included accusations related to a ship collision near a disputed shoal in the South China Sea. China's foreign ministry placed blame on the Philippines, stating that the nation was entirely responsible for the recent incidents. Apart from China and the Philippines, other ASEAN members such as Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei also lay claim to different parts of the South China Sea, a vital trade route facilitating over $3 trillion in annual shipborne commerce. In a landmark decision in 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration ruled that China's claims in the South China Sea had no legal basis, 